Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Also check out the Discord, that helps me out a lot. So here we are in the last video, we uh, added text and font so we can actually uh, print out text to the screen. In this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a few functions uh, to player and swag ball so that we can uh, uh, do some different things, some different types of swag balls here. To start off, what we need to do is create a variable here in our swag ball class called int type. So depending on the type of ball, we're going to have some different stuff happen. And you want to add that here, int type to the constructor of swag ball. I'm just going to copy that and paste it in the CPP file as well. Okay. This type equals type. Very simple. Very, very simple. And basically, I don't really have to do much more here. All I have to do now is to create an accessor called, uh, I'll keep that there. Const int reference get type uh, const. Okay, I'm going to define this very simple function, right? It's just going to return the type of uh, ball. Uh, get type, return this type. Okay, easy peasy. The next step is going to be to actually randomize these as we're going. Now, to make this easy on ourselves, there is a is a way you can do this and that's using enumeration. So I'm going to create an enum called swag ball types. Long name, you probably don't want a really long name on these, but but still long name. Uh, default 0 uh, damaging balls and healing balls. Maybe we'll just start with 3 number of types. Now this is where the magic happens. We have 0 default damaging healing. So we have three different types. Number of types is the last enumeration. It's automatically going to get the value 3. Since we set 0, default to 0, it's going to go from 0 to 1, to 3, 4. So we don't have to define all of these. Automatically, they'll be assigned a number. But as you see, automatically, number of types got 3. So this is a very easy way of knowing how many enumerations, how many types there are in this enumeration. So we're going to use that in-game. I'm going to go ahead in-game. Am I even recording right now? Yeah, there we go. Okay, game. So here, after window, randomize. Okay, uh, swag ball types, number of types. Now it's automatically going to randomize these types for me. Okay, and that's very good. That's very, very nice. That, that, that amuses me. So I like that. Uh, once we have that done, we'll go into player. And we'll see what player has. So it has HP, HP max. Now we need to get these somehow. Accessors. And we need to make a few more functions as well. For the healing and the taking of the damage. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a const int reference get HP. Uh, const. Const int reference. Or you can actually, you know what you can do? You can go ahead up here. And do a control D. And it will copy that for you. Uh, get HP max. Okay. Now, when it comes to functions, we're going to add a few. Void take damage. Constant damage. Uh, void or heal. Gain health. Constant health. So, that's very simple. Very simple functions. I'm just going to define all of these. Uh, point. Come on, bruh. Kimmy. Kimmy. Wonder if you can do this. No, you can't do that. Okay. That one and then that one. Then we have everything defined here. Now let's start off with the first one. So take no here. Get HP. Return this HP. Return this HP max. Very simple functions. These are a little different though. Okay, these are accessors. Just 
remember to mark your stuff so you know what's going on. Now, to take damage, this is very interesting. So, if this HP is greater than zero, this HP minus equals damage. Now, it can happen that HP goes below zero. If this HP goes below zero, this HP equals to zero. So, we never want it to go below zero. Otherwise, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look weird. Uh, to gain health, we're going to say this. If this HP is less than this HP max, this HP plus equals health. Very simple. And the other way around as well. If this HP is greater than this HP max, this is even more important because we don't want to gain more health than maximum available health, right? So this HP equals this HP max. And we're just going to set it to a limit. And these two functions should help us out in damaging and healing the player. Once that is done, we need to go into game to actually go and set all the logic for all this to happen. First of all, I'm going to print out this stuff before I forget. forget. Uh, so go to your update GUI. And here we're going to add a little health section. And we're going to say this HP... Uh, this player dot get HP and we're gonna add a little back or forward slash or backward slash wherever that is this player dot get HP max and a new line if you want if you want to add more stuff later once you have this you should be able to see the player's health but you shouldn't be able to remove any health from the player yet I'm going to go and just control Z, whatever I just did, control Y that, so it looks like that again. I'm going to control X points, put it above the racing, comment this in, remove the balls, or the ball, add points, and then we will have um, this thing. So we're going to have a switch case that checks what type the ball is. So I'm just going to copy this and just do get type and we'll see what type that is. Case zero or case uh, swag ball types default. Okay. Break. Well, what will we do here? Well, this is where we add points. We're not going to add points for any other um, any other type other types are going to do different things so case swag ball types I should have copied that damaging well what do you do you will damage the player this player dot whoops player dot take damage one so I'll just do one damage uh, copy this entire case instead of damaging healing gain health one okay so these two things will happen and we'll gain points from that now there's no way of seeing what ball what type of ball is so if we initialize the type let's go into swag balls constructor in its shape i'm going to set this type above in its shape oh god what am i doing Okay, I'm going to set the type first. Even safer, what you can do is you can use a initializer thing. Type, type. Okay? So you don't have to do all that crap. So just make sure it's in here in the initializer list. And then we'll initialize the shape. Now, setting the fill color to color. If... Um, we can actually do a switch case here as well. This type here case default case default okay uh, break if we have a default thing um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set a color to hmm color color let's just define that right there and then if it's default color equals sf color and then we'll just paste that in 
it will have a random color. Uh, now, this might be weird because we might get a red color for default as well, but you know, it's just a small game. You can make checks for that if you want. Uh, meaning that if damaging is red and we get a default that's red, you can't really differentiate them. What you could do is you could actually, you could do this. Wait, hold on, let me see. Color, color, uh, red. Like that, and then what you could do here as well is this shape dot set outline color uh, sf color red. This shape dot set outline thickness to two could do two. Okay, I'm just gonna see if that's a float. Okay, two point f. Good. Copy the whole case. Put it in here. Green. Um, green. Or we could do white to signify that it's a special type of a ball. Healing. So it's going to be green. And that outline thickness is 2 as well. So this makes sure that we can differentiate between these balls. And uh, yeah, we should be able to run this now. Shouldn't be a problem. Come on. Come on. I know you can do it. Where is that? It's here, right? Max swag balls, swag ball size. Whatever. We don't care about warnings. Okay, so here we can see there are healing balls. Okay. Uh, I don't know why the damaging balls are also green. When the damaging balls should be red. Mm. Okay. Oh, I didn't do break here. Sorry about that. You need a break in order for this to work. Break, break, break. Good. Go ahead and do this. And now we should see the red damaging balls, the regular balls, healing balls. And you got a bunch of different types of balls. So if I'm touching the red ones, I'm actually taking a lot of damage. Healing ones. Okay, we got a default ball here. Regular default ball. Alright, more balls. Now, what could happen is we'll only have a bunch of red balls, like now, and we don't want that. Um, and yeah, well, you'll have to kind of tweak tweak how this randomization works. Um, so so yeah, but, but here you go. This is how it is for now. It's working. In the next video, we might tweak it a little bit, make stuff a little more game-like, and then make a HP bar, hopefully. So you go, guys and girls. Thank you for watching. Check out the description box, all the nice links, support page, all these things. All the support is very appreciated. Thank you so much. Take care, good luck, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, alright? Bye-bye.